Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So I'm going to be doing a speciality tarot card reading focused on the energies of the Mercury retrograde in Pisces, how it's going to be affecting your love life, how it's affecting you. Now with this particular Mercury retrograde, you know, you're going to be feeling and experiencing certain things during this time. There are certain issues that are going to be coming up from inside of your heart, certain things that lay buried during most of the year. The key thing about this particular energy is that you now have an opportunity to see things that you didn't see before. You have an opportunity to heal part of your heart that you may not have realized is damaged until now. Okay, so this reading is going to be focused on that energy. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at the tarotempress.com. So let's see, Aquarius. First energy that we have. Well, this energy is all about things falling apart. During the Mercury retrograde in Pisces, you could be feeling very challenged during this time. In terms of your love life, you could feel as if there are certain things that are collapsing. There are certain things that don't make sense. There's a lot of sudden changes. There's a lot of things that when you look upon it, you feel a sense of dread. You feel a sense of helplessness. Aquarian individuals are free-spirited individuals. They like to think about the future in a very eccentric sort of way. But now I feel like your energy is feeling very shrouded in fear and worry and uncertainty. Usually, for Aquarian individuals, uncertainty is what makes life exciting. But when it's happening at a very rapid pace, it can feel overwhelming. It can feel daunting. It can feel scary, right? The next card that I'm looking at is showing to me that coupled with this energy is the prospect of having a door close to a particular relationship and dealing with the reality of that. So what does that mean? There are fears there inside of you concerning a certain relationship with a certain person and it feels as if what was once a very lively, passionate relationship between you and an individual has now turned into something that is no longer growing, has now turned into something that doesn't offer the same opportunity that it presented when this person came into your life. And that's something that's very scary. It feels as if you can't walk down that path with that individual. You can't return back to them. It feels as if their energy has changed. This is a different person that you're dealing with. And during this Mercury retrograde in Pisces, you're starting to feel that. Now, it's not normal for Aquarian individuals to feel emotional. Okay, usually they are very, very much the intellectual type of individual. And what I'm picking up from the combination of these cards is panic, fear, terror. That sort of energy that is really very scary if you really think about it, right? The next energy, right? When it comes to the Mercury retrograde, this particular energy is showing to me that in this situation, it feels like someone has become very, very firm during this Mercury retrograde in Pisces. This is an energy of a leader. It's the energy of someone that takes the reins of leadership. They bring their authoritative self to the table, 
when they're negotiating, when they're dealing with a situation, when they're handling things. Now, this can either be your energy or it could be the energy of the individual you're dealing with because when things are falling apart, someone has to step up. If two individuals are running and hiding, then that's a bigger dilemma. But with this particular energy, what I'm picking up is that one individual is facing things. One individual is owning up and licking this sort of downfall right in the face and trying to see if there's anything that can be salvaged. Right. The next energy I feel is connected to the fact that with the Mercury retrograde in Pisces, there's going to be emotions that you're going to feel and experience. There's going to be a desire to reconnect to a certain person. There's going to be a desire to reestablish that love between you and a particular individual. And this type of energy is showing to me that you long for this individual's presence. You long to hold them, to be with them, to unite with them. But it also feels as if there's some sort of earth-shattering thing that may have happened during this period. Perhaps this union or the possibility of it fell to pieces. There's some sort of daunting reality that is troubling you during this time. And it's pretty scary, right? I'm seeing from the energies that connected to this individual, you've waited a long time to love this person, to care for them, to treat them as you would have liked to be treated, to have the love given back to you that you feel for them, to reciprocate it. You know, love is a balance. It's a give and take situation. It can never be in one direction. Two people have to work together in order to make it happen. And when it comes to love, there's a lot more that goes into it than just being in love. There's the act of love, the dedication, the devotion. And I feel like this particular energy is showing to me that whenever you try to take stock of where you've come along when it comes to this individual, it always feels as if you haven't really made progress. It always feels as if there's still so much to do. It always feels as if you're not there yet. And that for you is troubling. It's unsettling. It's difficult to deal with. It's difficult to fathom, you know. How can the two of you possibly be so close in heart and soul, yet so far apart in physical elements? You know, how can the two of you not connect in the way that your minds connect? How can the two of you not connect in a way in which your hearts connect? You know, so there's obviously a... A very big disconnect. The next card that I'm looking at is showing to me hostility. Now hostility, when you think of this word, you think of war, you think of tension, you think of this energy where two people are against one another and not united. You think of an energy where one individual is going against the other person without consideration of the consequences. This is an energy that is not united. It is an energy that is divided. It is an energy that seeks to control. It's an energy that seeks to empower, but for one's own purpose. So someone is standing on another person's back trying to empower themselves. And for me, that's an unequal relationship. There's so many heavy dimensions that are coming into the situation. There's definitely uh, the sense that, you know, you feel this deep connection to this individual. You've waited a long time. It feels as if you are going to end up waiting forever. These are the type of energies that are showing up during the Mercury retrograde in Pisces. Now, what I'm seeing during this period of time is that some of you are feeling as if not only is everything collapsing, you feel as if this love that you want to offer this person or perhaps this love that this individual wants to offer you is being ignored. It's being discarded. Someone is saying, this isn't for me, right? You could be in the midst of it. You could be witnessing the person you love walk away from you or they could be witnessing you walk away from them. And that's why things are collapsing. 
This doesn't have to be a situation that occurred during the Mercury retrograde where the two of you, you know, broke up and went your separate ways. It could have happened a month ago. It could have happened some time ago. It's the energy that is being brought up during the Mercury retrograde in Pisces because this is dealing with karmic lessons. It's dealing with deeper issues, issues that you haven't yet faced. And it's coming up because you haven't dealt with them. There's a reason why certain energies show up when they do. There's a reason why certain things don't get healed. Because sometimes people are afraid of facing things, right? Afraid of the possibility of the love that you have to offer them will not be sent back to you. So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies on an extended reading. I'm going to be looking at what exactly is going to be happening during this period of time, where you are in respect of the Mercury retrograde, where this individual is in respect of the Mercury retrograde, and I'm going to be looking at how the two of you can potentially come back together, despite this energy. You can find the link in the description box below. If you want a personal reading, you can get it at thetaroempress.com. Have a wonderful day and take care.